As you guys can tell by the title, this would be a favorite lippies for the first and second quarter for 2018. Hey, pearls and gems. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell so you're notified of future videos. Now guys, some of these lip products I have had for maybe a year or two or longer or maybe recent new purchases or items that I receive in a monthly subscription box that I have previously received in the past. The way, these are lip products that I have been going to and I am super duper excited to share them with you guys. Okay guys, so the first lip product that we're gonna start off with is this Matte Melted by Too Faced and it just comes packaged just like so. And this one is called Jawbreaker. I was wearing it in the previous video and it just looks like that. And I'm not gonna swatch it because I just don't wanna contaminate my products by swatching them on my arm, though I am pretty clean. But this is how it looks. It does not have a fragrance to it. And this cost me about $14, $15, $18 or something like that. I'll leave the information to all of these products in the description box so that you guys can purchase them and also see the price point for them. So again, this is Jawbreaker by Too Faced and it is a really pretty pink. And again, the packaging is cute. Too Faced is really always really big on their packaging. So... It's one of the things that I really like about Too Faced is their packaging on both their palettes and all of their products. I have a thing for pretty packaging. Now, one of the number one products in my um, beauty, I guess you would say, collection is this beautiful lipstick that I always mention and it is by Tease Cosmetics. I just love the design on this lipstick. If you guys have not seen this lipstick before, then I don't know whose channel you've been on. If you're new, then just know that this is my favorite um, lip product by Tease Cosmetics, and it is a gorgeous red lipstick, and I am wearing it today with a Jordana Brown Cocoa Lip Liner so that I look a little bit more, um, I guess, my lips don't look as big normally without a lipstick like this. They'll look a little bit more big and juicy, but I don't mind that. So definitely love this red lipstick. I think everybody should have a red lipstick in their collection. And I just happen to really like this one by Tease Cosmetics. And it just says love right there on the side. And again, the packaging is amazing again another one of those brands who go all out on a lot of their really cute products so definitely love that and this one by the way is called romance red so romantic red by tease cosmetics is the name the next lip product that i'm just so excited to share with you guys is this tartiste lip paint by Tarte and this is the packaging that it comes in really sleek and pretty I just really like to uh Tarte's uh Tartiest Tarte push up Tarte tar, I cannot speak today Tarte's packaging and this lip paint just looks like so it's a nude color you definitely if you're my skin tone will have to go in with a lip liner because of the shade it is but once it goes on it gives a nude look this reminds me of the mac lip glass well not the lip glass but the i forget the name of their new shade and i got it in my purse right now but this reminds me of that so that's why i think i fell in love with it and the doe foot i believe looks just like yeah it's the standard doe foot so you're pretty much getting the same doe foot but the color is just so beautiful and the application is amazing and this is one of those products that it is a matte color and this one is called pillow talk so it is a very again new color new shade so if you are looking for a new shade and you happen to be shopping 
either on Tarte's website or at Ulta Beauty, then definitely check out Pillow Talk by Tarte. I think it's a really pretty nude color that, you know, works pretty well on my shade tone. So, I again, I do go in with a darker lip liner, and I'll probably do a video with this in the future so you guys can actually see that it does wear pretty well on the lip, and it feels comfortable as well. It's not uh splatchy or anything like that but if you're you find that your lipstick tends to feather and lift and lift as you wear it throughout the day you might want to look into investing in a good quality lip scrub and exfoliant for your lips so that before you apply you go over your lips with a lip balm something that's really thick and then when it's time after you're done complete the rest of your face makeup and it's time to actually do your lips you can go ahead and wipe that off and go ahead and go on with your liner and your lipstick whether you're going with a, a matte color or a gloss color so that your lips don't look kind of ragged and you know ashy like and I find that I get kind of parched in the summer whenever I just click keep wiping my mouth over and over and over again and because I'm actually always talking or doing something and so sometimes I find my lips getting pretty dry and I have to do that from time to time. So another lip product that I'm super duper crazy about is this uh, shimmer flavored gloss. And this particular gloss you can actually find at um, Victoria's Secret. And it is one of their signature scents. scents signature glosses that I've come to understand by other YouTubers online. A lot of people say whenever they try other products out that, you know, they always, they're, well, in my opinion, they're always quick to compare this Victoria's Secrets lip glass to something else. And I think it's because it has the shimmer glitters in it or whatever. But this one is lemon sherbet and it does smell like lemon sherbet. And it is one of those beauty products that I have in my collection, kind of like my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and other products by Too Faced that smell so good you almost want to eat it. So this is kind of what this does for me. And um, actually this was once I start getting back into my um, building up my beauty collection. This was one of the first products that I actually purchased and the thickness of it speaks for itself and taking good care of your products um, will allow them to last a very long time. And like I say, this product was one of the first products that I actually um, purchased and fell in love with and I still have it and will continue to purchase it so long as Victoria's Secret has it available. The next um, lip gloss, well, yeah, lip product, lip gloss that I have that is a gloss <laughs> is by, it is called Clear and it is actually by LA Colors, but the name isn't on here and I don't know why because this is a fairly new purchase. And one of the things that I don't like about my clear glasses is that if I wear this one, I was wearing a new shade lipstick. And I kind of just wiped it off and went over it and I still end up getting my doe foot a little bit dirty with the, well, not really dirty, but I, I end up getting the previous lipstick on it, which is why it kind of looks like that brownish color. And I really don't like when my glosses get like that because then the gloss actually starts to change colors. And then whatever lipstick or lip product that you wear, your lip gloss actually looks that color or ends up staining that color. And I really don't like that. So I end up tend to, I tend to buy these a lot um, just to kind of defeat that purpose or prevent that from happening. But definitely like this lip glass. And again, this is by LA Colors and it's just called Clear and it is really thick. Now this lip glass does remind me of the MAC lip glass because of the thickness. The difference between the MAC lip glass and this one is the MAC lip, gla lip glass is a tad bit thicker. And this lip glass right here is actually just as thick, but I can tell that it's not a MAC product. <laughs> you know, you can just kind of tell between your high end and your low end. Once you get used to uh, wearing a certain brand and style of lip products and makeup, you'll kind of come to know the difference between when you're using a higher end and lower end versus a lower end product. So and and not to and that's not to take away because I have some low end products that will blow high end products out the water as far as quality pigmentation 
and just overall wear so not not knocking any brand but when it comes to cosmetics it's kind of like it's one of those did this brand just get the product right and a lot of times you will find good deals in high product high-end products and you'll find good deals and steals and purchases in lower end products it just depends on how you fish for your products but that's why we're here guys so we can share those gems and pearls that we discover with each other and let us know let each other in on beauty tips and secrets and things of that nature when it comes to products like these so the next lip product that i have is the nika k uh, product and this is the this is the nika k violet and this is in m nms 18 and it's called violet i have actually two of these the other one is a darker purple which i have not worn just yet but this one just looks just like so and it is does not have the price on it nope this one doesn't have the price on it really sleek packaging there is a smooth texture and it has the logo on the front it is a twist up and twist down product so you can twist this product up and back to apply but i wouldn't advise applying that far up maybe about a little more than halfway down and then apply it and you should be good to go and it wears fairly well definitely been looking for this particular color everywhere and i've only been able to find it in this purple color i was actually trying to match it to a matte color shade that i have but the matte shade that i have is a tad bit off from this one so this one is the only one in this kind of uh I guess you want to say purple light purple violet looking color so really really pretty and i actually paid maybe two dollars for this at a local beauty store so won't be able to post the link to that unless i can find nika k's website and they actually have this particular one but other than that i just purchased it at a local beauty store so really like the color the next product that i have are so pigmented and i really love the formula that they actually have each of them come in their own unique color style have a slight smell to them but not a bad one just kind of more so along the lines of what their name is and they're ultra thick and i love the way they wear on your lips they smell again amazing and i'm talking about the nyx lip butters i was introduced to these lip butters um well i always knew about nyx but as far as the lip butters were concerned i just didn't go to the website fishing for any of these colors but i was with ipsy for about two years and i saw these up for grabs at a really good discount which is what i like ipsy for and i might end up subscribing back to them in the future sometime but for now, I really do enjoy this Lip Intense Butter Cutter Gloss because of the various colors that they come in. So I actually go ahead and share with you guys the colors that I have in my collection. So <clears throat> I have the, and I think I actually did a video on these. So I'll actually link that video below as well. And you can check that out. But I have the Berry Strudel. And it's like a, it's kind of like the Nika K color. Let me sit those there. It's kind of like that Nika K color that I was kind of looking for. But again, the purple, well, yeah, it's kind of like it. But the color is definitely just not the same. But definitely love those um definitely like that particular color i also like this butter and in lip intense butter color and napoleon and this is napoleon tad shade lighter than the what this one is berry strudel so these two totally different shades then we have Intense Lip Butter in Spice Cake 
so we also have spice cake and then we have funnel so funnel kind of looks like a peachy pink color so so far these are the ones that i have re reviewed so far then we have toasted which is a really pretty brownish color i really like toasted and then we have blackberry really pretty color like blackberry and then last but not least we have copenhagen which this one is a soft matte lippy and i actually did not get this along with this collection i actually got this one in the nitra b box which i didn't do a review of her box but i did do a uh, picture on Instagram so if you'd like to see the products that I got in my Nitra B box the picture is posted on my Instagram for your convenience I did get the Nitra B box about a few months ago it was a little late maybe a month late and I was missing items that I thought I would potentially get so I didn't get around to getting a video out I didn't so I didn't get the video done the box was about $21 the last product, but definitely not the least, and there are more to come if I do a lip video of every single lip product that I have in my collection, we would be here all night. So the last product that I'm going to say has been my go-to and that I have kind of been loving and wearing and um, enjoying is the, I guess I, this is the Laga Cloud Lips. The packaging is amazing. Really love this packaging. And it just opens up like so and you don't have to push this product up too far to get it out and it's easy to just press on your lips with a liner nice chocolatey color really love how smooth it goes glides on and wears again the packaging is amazing i'm just a sucker for good packaging so if i had to rate the prettiest package um product in this these would be my top three the Too Faced, the tease cosmetics and the Luga clouds lips so these are the best packaging out of the lip products that i have just reviewed but i love all of them just so much so i wanted to share with you guys the lip products that i'm currently loving for the past two quarters and of course in the future there will be maybe the same products included in any future lip product video but for now those are it and if you have lip products that you enjoy and that you would like to share with us to let us see and try out or not see and try out but let us know so that we may try them out go ahead and comment below a current lip product that you have been enjoying or if you have tried any of these products let me know how you have liked or not these products in the description box in the comment box below and i'll be sure to try my best to reply to you as soon as i can i appreciate you guys for watching me thanks so much for enjoying these videos with me and i'll see you guys in another video bye don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos bye